So I remember when I did the first aid, they have a device called the uh, AED, I think is the name, to revive somebody. Oh yes, the defibrillator, yes. That's purely electrical. Now it has a little magnetic component to it, but the primary principle behind it is to electrocute you. It's electrically charging the heart, it's overcharging the heart. So let me explain what a PEMF is then. When you have a wire that's conducting current, then you have a magnetic field and you have an electrical field. You have the current flowing in the wire, and let's say that wire is shielded because it's to protect you from getting electrocuted. So the fact that you've shielded it does not keep it from producing a magnetic field. And as the current flows down the wire, it is continuously, as the current flows, continuously producing a magnetic field. And then that magnetic field, we apply it, then we run wires, we run current through wires into what we call applicators or coils, and we place them on the body. That creates a concentrated magnetic field that then is used to go into the body to do healing work in the body by stimulating the body's natural processes to recover and rebalance and heal and so on. So in this case, healing is basically restoring balance, bringing circulation to the problem, decreasing swelling in the tissues. Every injury is associated with swelling, decreased circulation, decreased DNA, decreased ATP. All these other factors go along with maintaining the life of a tissue. But when it's injured, it begins to lose life, it begins to lose vitality because it's out of balance and doesn't have enough energy to bring itself back into balance. Well, PEMFs stimulate that tissue to create more energy. Now, some of the cells of that tissue may have no ability to create energy. They're like, say they're dead or, or they're almost dead, but you're relying on the cells that are not dead or almost dead to pick up the job and they wake up, they become more alert and they begin to shift and change the tissue to begin the healing process. So you reduce the swelling, you reduce the bruising, you reduce the pain, you improve the circulation. All of these wonderful things happen to the extent the body can do it. What kinds of health problems does it treat or heal? Well, there's almost no limit because if it's physical, PEMFs can affect it when it's out of balance. Acupuncture basically is doing PEMF therapy in a sense, or PEMFs are basically doing acupuncture by increasing the flow of energy in the body, the chi in the body. If you cut yourself, you have a wound, your body knows that it's got to heal that wound. Mm -hmm. Body knows to do that. Right? It, its job is to do that. Its job is to yeah. keep itself an intact body. Yeah. So then the body will take whatever time it needs to heal that wound. Now, if I wake up those cells with a magnetic field, I can increase the healing rate of that cut by half the time it would normally take. In other words, I would double the healing rate. Uh, the same thing oh. applies to bones. The same thing applies to head injuries, TBI. Mm -hmm. So any tissue in the body that's not working properly can use the extra energy. And one of the ways that acupuncturists do this is they increase the energy flow in the tissues. But it's a very gentle way of doing that. Yeah. Magnetic field therapy can be much stronger than, than acupuncture, than just moving a little bit of chi around. On top of that, a magnetic fields not only move the acupuncture meridians and points, but also actually work directly at the tissue itself. So acupuncture is very hard to get a, a wound or a cut to heal because it doesn't work that way as well. So a magnetic field will actually take that tissue and heal that tissue much faster. And I've seen that happen many, many, many times. So these uh, devices, can we buy them and use on our own? One of my goals as a holistic physician is to have you take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. So I tell my patients regularly, I'm not your doctor. Mm -hmm. You're your doctor. Mm -hmm. I'm a consultant to help you to learn how to be your own doctor. Right. So basically, we're just helping the body and people to get better with magnetic therapy. So as much as you can, you should do it yourself. Now, there are devices that are $350 and there are devices that are $26,000. And on my website, drpollock.com, so that's D-R-P-A-W-L-U-K.com, I have a lot of different devices to solve different problems. Okay. So you know, you're probably not going to solve cancer with a 10 cent solution. Mm -hmm. We probably don't need a $26,000 solution to, to heal cancer either. Mm -hmm. But you have to find the right equipment for the problems that you're trying to deal with. Yeah. Because you have to provide the energy in the body to do the job. Do you have one specifically for anxiety? Yes. The equipment that I recommend for it is called the Flex Pulse. So that's F-L-E-X and then Pulse, P-U-L-S-E. So Flex Pulse is a small battery-operated portable system. So you could use it for hours at a time. 
It has 10 programs in it. One program is, if you know the brainwave levels, alpha is relaxation, delta is deep sleep, theta is light sleep or meditation, beta is alert consciousness. So this device has four of those programs and those bands, those frequency bands that I described. So for anxiety, the primary treatments for anxiety are going to be to use either alpha, which is program one, 10 hertz, or to use program four, uh, which is going to be theta, very relaxed. So I had, I had a patient come into the office who was extraordinarily anxious. She was fidgeting and nervous and she, could, she had to start walking. She had to pace in the office. She was so agitated and so anxious and nervous. So I put the, the flex pulse, one coil of the flex pulse on the back of her neck using the theta, the theta frequency. And you could literally see the elevator going down. So within about five minutes, putting it on the back of her neck, she sat down and she sat, you know, stayed sitting for the rest of the uh, visit. And I asked her at the end of the visit, what was her anxiety level when she first came in? And she said, seven out of 10. And as I often say to people, I can't imagine her being a 10 out of 10. She was already pretty agitated at seven. So at the end of the session, at the end of uh, the treatment, her number dropped down to three, just with tuning the brain with this magnetic therapy. So it's safe, it's not toxic. That was my next question. Does it have any side effects? No, fundamentally no. It can be used in almost any setting, in almost any problem. So the only time that you have to be very careful with it, for sure, uh, is if somebody has implanted electronics, like a pacemaker or implanted defibrillator. Uh, it's safe in seizure disorders, it's safe in cancer, it's safe in pregnancy, although we can't say that it's safe in pregnancy because we don't have absolute proof that it is, but we know many women who use it throughout pregnancy without any problems. But the only time that we restrict the use of it is for uh, implanted electronics. And also, I don't recommend it to people who have had transplants because they're on immunosuppression. So we don't want to mess with the immune system. Right. It can become a long-term therapy? Lifetime. You use it as long as you need to. And um, day to day, week to week, month to month, year, year to year, uh, we change, we shift. Things, new things come up. You. Uh, bang your hand uh, in your car door or somebody pour some hot water on you accidentally. Life happens. And when you're a trainer and you work with training, people are being injured all the time. Can we use the PEMFs integrated with other kinds of therapies and even medications? So uh, that's a very important question. You can't build a house without bricks and mortar. You need the supplies. You need a plan. You need the tools. So magnetic field therapy will work with what is basically given. The body will be what it is. But yes, if you give the body better nutrition, if you give the body more magnesium, and more calcium, and more uh, hydration, if the body's otherwise tuned in, uh, in general uh, in better ways, then the magnetic therapy is going to make what the body can do work better. So if you do things half-heartedly, you're not going to get the body in the right shape to get the best results from therapy. But that applies to anything, right? You should be using all kinds, all the lifestyle things that you have available to you to make you as optimized as possible. But after 30 years of working with magnetic fields and having purchased and used all sorts of equipment, I've come to the conclusion the best value for your dollar is going to be magnetic field therapy. So if you're going to start anywhere, that's mm -hmm. the best place to start.